from Blue Rodeo. Don't, yeah. get, don't get nervous. He's a tough interview. Don't get nervous. I'm, I'm all right. Okay. Uh, so what do you think about that Rolling Stone interview? Yeah, been yeah, right. <laughs> I'm just really happy. The album's double platinum now. We're just really doing well, and I'm just really happy to be here tonight. <laughs> oh, the strings are getting <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. What else would you like to know about us? That's about it. That's about it. That's about it. Would you like to switch? Yeah, let's All right. Talk about. You go over here. Let's talk about me now. Okay. Let's sit here. That is so, you know, sit here. No, okay. Come on. Come on. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes. That's nice. This is supposed to be an intimate show. But now I can't ask any tough questions or anything because you're, you're bothering Okay, well, we'll just change band for your life. After all the changes in your life over yeah. the past few years, yeah. uh, you, you too have become the soul. You, you, you've, uh, you're pretty much the soul of the, this show anyway. Is this mid or... yourself? No, no, we I don't know. It's one of those things. This is radio still, isn't Valerie's it? Valerie's coming out in a minute. Don't worry about it. And what do you figure the key to your creative success is? Well, actually, it, it's really got a lot to do with the fact that Greg and I are, are, are lovers. <laughs> Thank you for asking. <laughs> A bit, you know, it's much softer than it looks. It's a very, <laughs> very soft coat. All right, do I get any serious questions in here or no? Oh, well, I have a good one. These, I, okay, you. I have a good one for you. Brian Adams last year calls the Canadian music scene mediocre. He's I a, always wondered what you guys would think about that. He's an insult to his plaid shirt. <laughs> It's not vaguely suspicious that he did that just when his tour was supposed to start, right? Like a little free advertising, no? That's it? So you see that as a cynical nonsense thing to say? I think that his handlers should tell him not to speak so much. Or at least only say things that are prepared for him to say. <laughs> and you guys, you're still here. I mean, I'm sure lots of people said, move to LA, be gorgeous, be beautiful, be stars. No, nobody has said that. Oh. <laughs> no, that's never been an option. You, you, We'd take it in a... <laughs> <laughs> Everybody loves you. These people, they love you. <laughs> what I wonder about that is, does it get too easy? Can you just go out there, play all the greatest hits, and go home and go, ah, they love this again, what's to eat? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can how, do you, that? how do you make it tough for yourself and challenge yourself and say, well, I, I know everybody knows every word, but what are we going to do to make this better? We never think about it, Ralph. <laughs> I'm getting in this chair. Oh, come on. <laughs> That's it. Here. No, these are no good. These are the same ones. These are no good. These are oh, no here's, one. Okay, these okay. here's one for you. So I've always wanted, you, you write all these songs about love and heartache. And you're a family and, man at heart. Yes. Oh. Is that the question? Well, you're a fan. I mean, like, you're a married guy and all this well, stuff. So, Where's the love and heartache songs come from? You just watch oh, his wow. life or what? <laughs> you see, I moved for that question. I'm not dumb. <laughs> <laughs> He'd bop me, I told you. Uh, yes, the, the other members of the band are pretty much just field work for me. <laughs> they, they go out there and they, they have despicable, desperate lives. And I say, can you tell me about what just happened to you? <laughs> <laughs> Phone me now. Yeah.